Hey, what's up legends? It's Travis from The Lawn Lab and welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome back guys. So we've got perfect autumn weather today. Light breeze, the sun's out and we're gonna do some mowing. So we're gonna mow the front here. We're about oh, five days, six days after our granular application. So um, we'll give it a mow. We'll get a mow on at the back as well. Um, and now that the wind's dropped off, we can get back into our liquid fertilizers. So I'm gonna actually spray all our lawns with a liquid fertilizer mix as well. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, worst part about this area is cleaning up the gum nuts. So still, if you want to hook me up with a bigger blower, that'd be good. All right guys, so I didn't um, film this, but like I said in the last video, on the Friday we're gonna be laying a bit of turf, so I got a bit extra, um, and just cut this center part out. Laid a bit of Queensland blue cooch in there. Yeah, it doesn't look the best at the moment, but hopefully another month and you know things will start to blend in, not too bad. So it looks probably, you could say it looks a little bit high at the moment, but you gotta remember these edges are all at 12 mil and that stuff come from the farm, probably at oh, 35 mil, 40 mil, something like that. So um, it's not too bad. So plenty of water onto it, get it established and then we can start blending it in with the rest of the lawn. Um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't look the best at the moment, but I think that was gonna be the best option. Um, those little areas over the back here, they'll fill in by themselves. I'm not too worried about them. So. That was my biggest concern, this main one here, so. All right, let's head out, head out the back and we'll have a look at the back lawn, so. But you can already see the color in the Queensland Blue Cooch from that granule application is getting a lot better, so. And you know, we're only nearly a week after the application, so it's only only, only, only get better, so. But we'll take a look at this Tiff Tough, and it's really starting to come in now, so. Obviously we've got this area here, plenty of shade, so it's not gonna to do too well here. And obviously we put a sand, bit of sand in here as well. Um, but the main part of it, it's, um, it's, getting, it's getting there, it's starting to fill in now. So we've had about two mows on it now, so we'll give this another mow. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely due for some liquid fertilizer everywhere, so. Alright, so this is what we're going to be using to do our spraying. Um, so I picked this unit up from um, Syntex, I think the company's called, just buy it online. Um, so it's just a 100 litre tow behind sprayer with the boom on the back. And then we've got the nozzle here on the front. So I've actually had this for probably, oh, it's got to be over six months and I've never really used it. Um, I don't know why, I just, I tried it with water with behind the zero turn here and I didn't really like the setup. Um, and I went back to just using the old um, solo backpack sprayer. Um, but, you know, now all our turf areas are getting cylinder mown and they're starting to come together. Um, I really want to be able to mix up all my liquids and spray the whole entire area at the same time. So I'm just going to have to get used to it and start using it. So um, I don't think it's going to be too bad, but um, I suppose I'm just used to always using the backpack sprayer. So. Um, when I first used this, it was a bit, just felt a bit odd, but you know, we got, we got six, seven, about 2,200 square meters that it's been cylinder mown at the moment or with the um, tour road. So trying to spray that with a 18 litre backpack sprayer is a nightmare. So yeah, we'll um, get onto this this afternoon and
Alright legends, there you go, double cut on the front lawn and a double cut out the back on the Tahoma and the Tiff Tuff. So um, we'll grab the camera and go for a bit of a walk and have a look how everything's looking. But yeah, this area after that granular feed, which is our lawn pie turf max, which we gave it about, it was five or, five or six days ago now. So you can really see it starting to kick in now um, and it's only going to get better. So. Yeah, coming up a tree. All right, let's go for a bit of a walk and have a look. Just trying to burn those checkers in. Get those uh, footy field vibes. Or soccer, whichever you prefer. Getting there, getting there. All right, so here's the back. So Tiff Tough, like I said, still still filling in after that um, late season verde mowing scalp, but um, starting to burn some stripes in. So we did um, obviously this way, and then we ran some stripes this way. So my goal will be, I guess, through winter is work on that checker pattern, that checkerboard pattern. Um, for the front and also um, the back here, so. But, but overall, pretty happy with it. It's, to be honest, it's nice to have all my lawn areas at a similar height. Mowing with that um, Toro Triflex just makes life so much easier. Um, you know, before, you know, we had bits that were rotary mown, some cylinder mown, some walk behind. It was, it was hard, you know, like now I can mow front and back in a couple of hours, or not even a couple of hours, um, and have it looking the good, so, but yeah. All right, I reckon we uh, mix up and get a little bit of liquid fertilizer out. All right guys, so here's a spray I showed you early on in the video. Um, so we're gonna be putting down our Lawn Pride Trace Max and our Lawn Pride Root Max. Um, so these are fine to be tank mixed together. You can spray them down. You can water them in if you want to, or you can just leave it dry on the leaf. Um, my irrigation is going to run tomorrow morning as scheduled, so we'll just spray it down, leave it here this afternoon, leave it dry on the leaf overnight. Hi, so unfortunately my phone went flat um, while I was filming spraying at the front here. Um, so at the moment we're about 24 hours after we sprayed the front here. I actually just gave it a quick mow. So I got a mow yesterday, we sprayed yesterday up. I gave it uh, another mow, double cut, um, this afternoon. So we're literally nearly bang on 24 hours after that spray application. So I'm still not sure about that sprayer. I'm a little bit on the fence about how good I think it worked. I can see the wheel tracks from from the zero turn and stuff like that and it kind of annoys me. Um, so I may have to maybe look at turning that into a pedestrian sprayer. So put a little wheel on the front and just and just walk behind it and push it along. I think that's gonna be the um, better option because yeah, I didn't really like the results we got um, with the zero turn. Um, it's probably fine on a, on a high or a taller cut lawn or something like that. But um, for what we want, I wasn't really happy with it. So 
Um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the sprayer, or let me know what you think I should do with it to make it um, a bit more user-friendly um, and to get a better result with it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.